In December 2015, two killers killed uh, 14 people in San Bernardino in California. And later on, the FBI revealed one of the killer's iPhone, an iPhone 5C. And it tried to um, force Apple to bypass the security um, system of this iPhone in order to get to the information um, that was stored on the phone. Um, Apple resisted because it was um, in fear that this would open Pandora's box, which means uh, it was afraid that the FBI would come any other day afterwards and ask for another iPhone to be cracked. So um, the FBI, after a month of legal battle, finally found an outside partner, as it was called, um, to crack and bypass the security system of Apple. And it's not publicly said, but obviously this costed one million dollar, and um, it showed that there is um, obviously a strong intent by the FBI to get into that system and on the other side there's a company that resisted. And I would say the problem here is not the money but especially this conflict and what it shows us. First of all, the FBI hasn't shared the security flaw or the vulnerability of this phone with anybody, not even with Apple. This means that there are still thousands or hundreds of thousands of phones out there that are still vulnerable and where criminals and other parties could use this security flaw in order to get on our phones. Secondly, there is a question that was hardly raised in this debate and it is, can we trust Apple? Apple is a big company, one of the biggest companies in the world. And the FBI and the Department of Justice in the USA, they claimed that Apple has um, or that the Chinese government demanded from Apple um, in the first half year of 2015 to open more than 4,000 iPhones. And Apple has um, done that in 75% of these cases. So the question is, um, can we trust Apple? And when does Apple work with governments and when doesn't it? And the only partners or the only parties who know if Apple cooperates with the governments is Apple and the government, in this case the Chinese government. And the third problem and maybe the major problem is the upcoming crypto war. What we're facing here is only the beginning, I think. And the FBI has just a short time ago um, said that it wants to expand its hacking um, um, capabilities. So it's going to invest millions of dollars in the next years in order to hack in everybody's devices. And the problem that we face here is that these devices, the number of devices is growing extremely fast. By 2020, we will have more than 50 billion devices globally that are connected to the internet. And these devices are vulnerable and the FBI will use the security flaws and the vulnerabilities to get on these devices. And this means every fridge, every car, every smartphone, whatever there is, is vulnerable and is open to the FBI if they want to and if they can, and they have shown that they can. And there is one man who knows this best, and this is FBI Director James, uh, James Comey. And he said not a long time ago that we should cover all our webcams as they do in the government offices. Um, and the reason is, uh, he said, that those who don't have the authority shouldn't get on your device. And I think this man really knows what he's talking about.